Hello guys, so welcome to Kyo Tutorials. So here I'm coming up with a small tutorial on modeling an antique furniture wardrobe over here. So let's get started. So very first of all, it's a small tutorial on viewers request. I'm creating this tutorial. So let's go into this and let's just open up a reference of that. So I have a reference of this particular antique wardrobe. So let's just take a plane over here, take a box, so convert to editable poly, select this polygons, slightly let's just give a bit of inset and extrude it up till here so now what I'll be doing over here is like I'll be just subdividing this first over here or else what I can do is I can just create the half part and I'll just mirror it that can also be done that you can do it if you want but although I'll just put one swift loop or or one connect at the center so let's just push it a bit over here shuffle it a bit up let's again take one more swift loop just put it on the top put we'll put one swift loop over here also for this and I'll be just subdividing this so let's just subdivide this part into two so now what I can do over here is like I'll put some swift loops over here so I'll put one swift loop over here one here here, here. So select this, push it over here. Okay, I'll just exclude this. After that, I'll put one swift loop over here. So before that what I can do is if you don't want right now I'll just select this both the polygons and I'll slightly give a bit of inset over here and I'll click OK. I'll push it up use one swift loop over here. select this slightly just push this up in this way again go over here put one here and here Again, I'll go into the vertices and I'll just make it more straight. I'll put one loop over here. So select this polygons and slightly extrude it 
a bit inside like this and let's click OK. Now, once you're done over here, so I have just excluded that particular part in that way. Again, I will go over here. Select this slightly just push this up put one swift loop over here so select this polygons extrude it a bit inside so the same way we can do it over here also push it up, select the polygons, extrude a bit inside. So if you want to put one loop over here, you can just put one loop and extrude this a bit inside. So that can be done over here in this way. After that, I'll again put one swift loop till here and I'll put one loop till here. Go into the vertices and let's scale it. I'll put some loops over here also so slightly shuffle it a bit inside two and three again select the vertices select the polygons so we will put one loop over here also and slightly extrude it a bit inside So the same way, we'll be doing this for this also. So select this polygons. We'll put one loop over here. Extrude it and click OK. So once you're done over here, I'll just slightly uh, you can what I can do over here is like I'll put one swift loop over here and I'll select this polygons and I'll slightly delete this and let's mirror it copy it and this one in this axis so slightly I'll just push it a bit inside 
and let's just attach it select the border and let's just bridge it so if you don't need any of the edges I can slightly delete that I can push it in this way so now if you look at it closely you can see now I can go over here select the vertices scale it put some here also so select the polygons select this so I can slightly just drag this down so there are so many loops we have put so not a problem select this polygons and slightly just extrude it out select this so before we do this we will put one more loop over here and we will put one more loop over here slightly extrude it extrude this so you can just select this polygons and let's give a bit of bevel by local normal adjust it in this way now go into this take a circle just take a circle enable in viewport make it as radial and let's just put it over here So just go over here and take a spear, put it like this, select this, make a copy of it. So just take one. So even you can put some loops over here at the center also, not a problem. So select this again, make one more copy of it, take it 
take one more copy shift and duplicate that so again so i'll be giving a same copy over here also the same way so duplicate that all right so over here it won't come all right so we can just go over here again i'll select the top polygons extrude it up scale it push this up in this way so once you're done you can see that we have created this can just assign so your antique wardrobe is ready so you can just give a glass if required so you can just go into this architecture and transparency i'll just reduce it just to give you an example of it so you can give a good texture also if required so guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here so we have model this you can increase a bit of its height also if required not a problem so you can slightly increase its height
that is totally okay over here all right that's created so guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here oops i think we have missed one polygon all right so you can weld it if required so thanks for watching this tutorial Okay.